Hello and welcome to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about none other than Baijo, a 5 star dendro character that acts both as a shielder and also as a healer. We are going to go over his talents, artifacts, best weapons and also some team compositions that he can fit in. Uh, before we go into the video, I just want to let you know that we go live uh, every day in the afternoon, so uh, you can come and join us. Let's jump right into the video. Okay, so first let's talk about his talents. Uh, of course, Baiju is a Dendro character that acts both as a healer and also as a shielder, which makes him very flexible and can fit in many team comps. His important talents are going to be Elemental Skill and Elemental Burst. So let's talk about the Elemental Skill. The Elemental Skill, when you use your Elemental Skill, Baiju will unleash a snake that will attack enemies, apply dendro to them and also heals you when it comes back to you and also gets you back some energy. Uh, the healing part of this elemental skill scales off HP and the damage but the damage of it scales off attack. It has a 10 second cooldown and it has a pretty good healing for an elemental skill. His elemental burst, however, which is his main ability, has many properties because Baiju will generate a new shield every 2.5 seconds. And of course, this shield is a dendro shield. Uh, so if you are close to enemies, you can apply dendro to them by it. But the problem with this shield is that it's not as strong as other shielders in the game. You will definitely benefit from it because it will keep you alive for a little bit because it's not that tanky but also it will protect you from uh, enemies hit so we will not get interrupted while you are performing your charge attacks and also whenever you are attacking enemies uh, you will slide dendro to them but just keep in mind that this attack is only single target so we will only attack one enemy at a time. Although Baiju's shield isn't as strong as other shielders in the game, it's still pretty good because of the dendro application that his burst gives you and also it will heal you whenever it disappears and it does pretty good healing and also a little bit of damage whenever you attack enemies. However, it is a single target but it still can be helpful to keep applying dendro to enemies while off field. Uh, the energy cost is uh, 80 so it's not that high but uh, there are some ways that you can do to get around that and also added to his talents he's got pretty good passives first passive whenever the current character's hp is less than 50 percent baiju will get 20 percent healing bonus uh, and whenever their hp is equal or more than 50 percent baiju will gain 25 percent dendro damage bonus and also another passive of Baiju is that whenever a character in your party is healed by the seamless shields with Baiju will increase the burning bloom, hyper bloom and burgeon reaction damage that, that is dealt by that character by 2% and the damage will be increased by 0.8% for aggravate and spread reactions. And this effect can last for 6 seconds. So even though uh, you don't have your shield anymore, uh, the effect can still be on. And this is scaled off Baiju's max HP. So on Baiju, you're gonna have to stack a lot of HP on him to benefit from his healing from a shield and also to boost your reaction damage. We'll talk about that when we are talking about artifacts. And for Baiju's playstyles, you can use him as an on-field character because he's a catalyst, so his normal attacks are going to be dealing dendro damage to opponents. So if you want to use Baiju as a driver in a team comp, for example, uh, Bloom or you just need a uh, Dendro Applicator, you don't have any other character than Baiju, you can play him as that, but uh, that's not really optimal because his damage isn't that high, so it's better to just use him as an off-field character. But just know that you can also use him on field if you just want him for Dendro application. And lastly, for talents priority, obviously prioritize your burst because it is the most beneficial one and also your elemental skill. And for the normal attack talent, you can level that up if you want to use him as an off field character. But if you don't use him as an off field, I would recommend that you do not waste your resources and just leave it at level 1. Now let's talk about what makes Baiju strong or what makes him weak you can look at baiju as a, just a five star yao yao obviously yao yao is kind of an aoe applic dendro applicator whereas baiju is just a single target but uh yao yao does not provide you with the shield baiju has a shield that can keep your life for a little bit tank some damage although it's not the strongest shield in the game but it's still good enough and also gives you healing healing isn't uh, the best healing in the game or the fastest healing in the game but it will do the job also note that baiju's burst lasts for a long time so so for characters like sino and al-haytham which are kind of like selfish dps because 
you are on the most times on field so you don't have to keep swapping back to your nahida or to your yao yao to use your elemental skill to apply dendro to characters so by use uh, elemental burst lasts for a long duration so whenever you are playing those characters you are going to be comfortable and you don't have to keep swapping back to your Nahida or Yao Yao to apply Dendro to characters and also you can run Baiju as the only Dendro character in the team uh, you don't need to run him with another Dendro unit and with that out of the way let's talk about artifacts if you are playing Baiju as just a support character I would recommend that you go for the for Peace Deepwood set because because it will boost your team's damage because whenever your elemental skill or elemental burst hits an opponent their dendro resistance will be decreased by 30 percent which can be a very really good damage boost to your team and you can also trigger this while off field which which will benefit baiju because baiju is an off field character and he also applies dendro with his elemental burst whenever whenever you attack opponents so typically this is the best set for him and also running four piece deep with on baiju will enable you to run a four piece gilded on your Al Haytham or on your Nahida if you are using them with Baiju. Of course, there are many sets that Baiju can benefit from, but they are viable but not the best. For example, you can run a four piece Ocean Hued for just healing. You need if you feel like you need more healing. Uh, typically, uh, personally, I would not recommend that. I would just recommend that you stick with the four piece Deepwood because it's the most beneficial set. Another set that you can use is going to be Tenacity of the Melith because. You are going to benefit from the two piece set which will give you 20 percent hp four piece set you will benefit from it just for a short duration because his elemental skill doesn't have a high duration uptime so you will benefit from it for like six seconds and then you're gonna have to switch back to him and use his elemental skill again if you don't have any of these sets and you're just looking for a placeholder you can mix up between artifacts for example you can use two piece emblem with two piece with two piece wanderers troop or any other em set you can use two piece hp two piece hp with tenacity of the myth and uh, the Vokorn set and also you can just use a four piece noble set if nobody on the team is using it best one of course is going to be deep put set and on substats it is going to vary on which play style you want to play him if you are running him as an off field healer slash shielder obviously you just need to stack hp on him but hp isn't the only stat that baiju relies on baiju relies on hp energy recharge and also attack because his elemental skill and elemental burst damage uh, scales off attack while his healing and shield scales off hp and also you're gonna need energy recharge to keep spamming your burst on rotation so if you just want to use baiju as a support character you're gonna need to stack on him a lot of hp for sans you're gonna need an hp main stat uh, for goblet hp main stats and with some energy recharge on the subset and for the circlet hp percentage main stat and also some energy recharge in the subset so you can keep spamming your burst on rotation but if you want to use baiju as an on-field character for example in bloom or maybe in spread teams you're gonna need to switch his artifacts a little bit and you're dodging you don't feel like you need any more healing you can go for an attack or elemental mastery sense with and also with a dendro goblet while using a crit headpiece either crit rate or damage depends on your ratio it's not the recommended build for him but if you feel like you're getting enough healing and you just need and you just want to increase his damage you're gonna need to use an em or attack sense dendro goblet and also a crit headpiece for for his energy recharge requirements if you are running him as the only dendro unit in your team uh, you need about you need at least 200 energy recharge and the max is 240 it depends on your rotation and your team and if you are running him with another dendro unit about 160 is the minimum and 200 is the maximum so again it just depends on which team and which characters are you running with him and also depends on your rotation and with that out of the way let's talk now about his weapons now for weapons on baiju you're gonna need a weapon that gives you energy recharge hp percentage or maybe both obviously his best in slot weapon is going to be his signature weapon its main stat is hp it gives you 49.6 hp percentage uh, at level 90 and the passive is really good for him because whenever you use your elemental burst or you create a shield the equipping character can gain a primordial jade regalia effect which means it will restore your energy recharge every 2.5 seconds by 40 by 4.5 and also you will gain 0.3 elemental damage bonus every 1000 hp you have 
and the maximum that you can get from this is 12%. Obviously his signature weapon isn't a must, you can definitely skip that. You can also go for the just the free to play option with, which is the prototype ember. You can craft this weapon for free on, uh, from one stat and also you can refine it for free, you can get refinement 5 on it. Its main stat is also HP and uh, the passive is actually pretty good because whenever you use an elemental burst it regenerates 6 energy and it will also regenerate 6% HP for your team every 2 seconds. Uh, a similar weapon to Prototype Ember is going to be the Favonese Codex because it gives you energy recharge so your energy recharge requirement is going to be low and also crit hits have 100% chance to generate a small uh, particles which you can transfer to Baiju himself or maybe to another character if you feel like you need more energy on them. So this weapon kind of make him a battery for other team members. Another weapon that can work with Baiju if you are running a hyper carry that scales of attack you can definitely run Thrain cells on Baiju at refinement 5, a 3 star weapon that will uh, increase your hyper carry's attack by 48%. So this weapon can also be used uh, on Baiju if you, if you are just trying to boost your hyper carry. Of course if their damage scales off attack. Another good weapon for him is going to be Sacrificial Fragments. It gives you elemental mastery and whenever you damage an opponent it has an 80% chance at refinement 5 to use your elemental skill one more time. With that being said, his signature weapon isn't a must. All these 4 star options or 3 star option is good on him. Uh, my favorite one is going to be the Prototype Ember because it gives you HP and also energy recharge as well as healing your team whenever you use your burst. Now with all of that out of the way, you're probably wondering which team comes and Baiju fit in. Well, surprisingly, Baiju can fit in way too many teams than I expected. First team that comes into my mind is going to be the Sino Aggravate team or maybe the, the Quicken team. Because as you may know, if you already own Sino, Sino is like a selfish DPS and his burst uptime is way too long. So if you are using Nahida with Sino, most of the time you are going to swap out of him just to reapply the on enemies, although your burst isn't done yet. And that will mess you with your damage a little bit and will not make you play your favorite DPS, in this case Sino, to him's fullest. So Baiju, in my opinion, unlocks Sino's full potential because Baiju's burst stays longer than uh, Nahida's elemental skill or maybe even Yao Yao's elemental skill so you don't need to constantly switch back to your other dendro unit just to apply dendro to maximize Sino's reactions and also Baiju gives you healing as well as a shield so for example if you are running Nahida in this team you're not gonna have a shield there nor do, I, do you have a healer so your survivability is probably going to be low your chances of dying is going to be higher so in this case, Baiju is perfect for this team comp with Sino because he will give you shield and also he will heal you. With also him applying Dendro to enemies, although his Dendro application is a little bit slower and is single target, but it gets the job done. Another team comp that Baiju can fit in is probably with Kicheng. As you may know, with Kicheng, Nahida doesn't really work well for her, with her, so Baiju here is perfect because Again, he applies Dendro to enemies and also giving you a shield and keeping you alive. And of course, and of course, aggravate teams or quicken teams aren't the only teams that Baiju can fit in. He can also fit in in a hyper bloom team with probably Nahida because Baiju's because Baiju's Dendro uh, Dendro application is low, so uh, you are probably gonna need to run another Dendro unit with him. Obviously, it's going to be Nahida because she's the best at that. So having Baiju Nahida with um, Sino or Cookie plus a Hydro unit like Yelan or Sinshou can be a good team comp and it can clear any content very easily. Another team comp that Baiju can fit in, fit in is going to be the Nilu Bloom team uh, with Nilu, Baiju instead of Yao Yao with Nahida and Sinshou or Barbara. Baiju will give you a shield which will protect you from, from the Dendro core explosions and also heal you and also you can apply Dendro with him because he's a catalyst so you can apply Dendro while you are on field. Another kind of selfish DPS, uh, another DPS that Baiju can fit well with is going to be Al Haytham because as you may know for Al Haytham his on field time is high so having Baiju with him uh, not having to cancel your rotation or maybe just rush your rotation just to switch back to your Nahida just to uh, hit enemies with your elemental skill to proc the four piece dip with set so having Baiju on four piece dip with set uh, is really good 
in a heightened gym and will boost your damage by a lot and Baiju of course uh, also deals damage which is not that high but it can be helpful in some cases um, that's it for the video uh, I'm gonna leave you now with some showcases of Baiju in the current 4.1 Abyss I hope you found some information useful in this video if you found anything useful please uh, leave a like it really helps out the channel and I just want to let you know that I am always live on my YouTube channel and also on Twitch on the afternoon so if you so if you are interested please come by that's it for me for this video i hope you have a good rest of your day and i will see you in the next one remember health comes first incoming with sword comes shadow hey. Midnight Phantasmagoria! Cut mine the side effects. Shut clouds high. The birds call! I summon me! Cut a bitter pill to swallow. Wind strike! Don't blink! Cut to the chase! Seems like an emergency. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. Wind strike. With sword comes shadow. Hey! Wings of darkness. Mind the side of that. No rest for the wind strike. As one with wind and cloud. It comes into the chase. I'll be fine. Don't blink. The doctor will see you. The doctor will see you. Yeah, ring cutter. Taking a turn for the better. Shadow ring. You die. Your sins weigh upon your soul. Your penance is due. Guilty. You stand condemned. Your penance is due. Guilty. Your penance is due. A bitter purple. Huh? Let me read you. Nowhere to run. Seems like an emergency. Midnight Venta. Through me, justice is served. You stand condemned. Guilty. Your penance is due. Guilty. Let me leave you alone. Huh? Oh, no, my, my bond is strong. Lightning? Remember, health comes first. A bitter pill to swallow. Everyone hold hands. Make yourselves a home. Witness the power of the wild rain outlines your fate. Taking a turn for the better. Mind the side effects. Out of my way! Stand with me! The Temple of Wisdom! Let me read you all.